Ms. Arrington underwent surgery yesterday. She had a unstable fracture of the lumbar spine with spinal cord compression. The surgery for that addressed both issues. Everything went very well. Uh, there were no complications. I expect she's going to do very well from this. She's doing well today. And we expect her to make a full recovery in that standpoint. Obviously, there's other injuries involved, which makes it a little more complicated. But from a spine standpoint, she's going to do just fine. Um, she certainly needs some rehab and recovery. That should not be an issue for her. She's very motivated. Ms. Arrington has two rib fractures. She has a colon injury as well as four small bowel injuries. She had an injury to her iliac artery as well. In addition, she had bleeding from her abdominal wall in one of the major arteries there. She had an L2 fracture, which Dr. Buckholz will discuss, as well as some spinal ligamentous injuries throughout the spine. Upon presentation, Ms. Arrington and Ms. Goff both appeared to have severe traumatic injuries, including major abdominal trauma. Ms. Arrington uh, was hemodynamically unstable and in hemorrhagic shock and bleeding into her abdomen. Ms. Goff was hemodynamically appropriate, but had clear evidence of abdominal trauma and would also require operative intervention. On Sunday, Ms. Arrington went to the operating room. We explored her abdomen. We were able to complete all of the traumatic surgeries that she required, and we closed her abdomen, uh, feeling that we had addressed all of her traumatic problems within the belly. Overall, they are recovering well, and things have gone well with their resuscitation. Ms. Goff remains on the ventilator. Ms. Arrington was taken off the ventilator this morning.